Hi everyone. So we can get started today and what we are going to do today is we will create an editable grid inside our APN interface. So I am in my sandbox and I have already created an interface ASA editable example and let me open this. So we can create an editable grid and we can understand what are the parameters we need to pass inside the editable grid and what I can do I can use this left hand side panels so what I need to search grid so Appian provide us two types of grid right we have editable grid and we have read only grid and inside this read only grid basically whenever we have to show the data whenever um, we are dealing with data and we want some kind of list as a read only right then we can use read only grid but whenever we are writing some data we are storing some data right we are editing the data inside the grid and adding rows and these kind of things right that's where we use editable grid so today we are going to use a editable grid and we can understand how we can use it so i'm dragging this inside my panel and currently i'm in the design mode that's why these options are coming i can use this option or i can directly go to the expression mode so let's get into the expression mode because we can understand grid functions easily here so this is a bank grid layout right so whenever we are using the editable grid we need to use this a bank grid layout and for read only grid we are using a bank grid field right and we can understand these right these parameters by looking into this help box also so we have label instruction header cells column configurations rows validation validation group selectable selectable disables we have different different parameters right we can use any of them so right now label is editable grid let's rename this add some data and label position is fine header cells basically what header cells do is header cells are the name of the headers the number of rows should be equal to the number of header cells right so currently there is only single header cells so what i will do i will copy this and we can paste this five times so we can have five header cells and then we can configuring the rows accordingly right so let me rename this one first name we can name this phone number and this one we will just remove the headers label name so let's see what we can do and we have the column configuration basically whenever we wanted to configure some kind of width right the width of these um, these columns which we are configuring right so we can configure these right if we can also see the help text basically column configuration and um, array of column configuration created using a bank grid layout column configuration and inside this function we can have that configuration so right now uh, let, let's leave this and we can jump into the rows so rows are the important part where we will need to add all the rows right so uh, we need to use a bank grid row basically so we can use this help and after this what we need to pass we need to pass contents right and contents is a list basically so what we can do here we can pass text fields integer field and whatever is required right so i'm creating a text field and another text field let's copy this one so we need to create five right and one in teacher field or for this is also email address so let's copy this and for phone number let's create a bank in teacher field and comma and last one let's use 
a bank rich text rich text display field so right now we have configured five things right if you see these five things are their first name second name email right we can write the data here so akshay and sharma so right now we are not storing the values of these this right that's why this is coming as a that the data is not stored getting stored somewhere it is just getting removed right so we are just configuring this right now and rows are configured we need to save the values right so what we can do we can use local variables or we can use the rule inputs right so let's do one thing let's create a local variable and inside this let's collapse this one and we can use a bank local variables local data and let's see what we can do here let's try to use a bank map function where we can map these things Yeah, right so we have just created a variable and we have given the value a bank map so let's let's remove the error first because we have removed this grid configuration outside the local bank scope so that's why it is creating an issue let's copy and paste it here so now error is gone right so what we need to do basically so let's see the local variable value also so we have this local variable data and inside this we have this is a array basically and we have mapped first name last name email phone number right so let's copy this and we'll have some other values also control c and comma and other and comma and other so we have three values right now let's rename this tony nanny right so let's refresh this and test it let's see our local variable value should be updated i'm testing this so the value is updated right we have three values here three items and first name last name and all the details which we have entered for this local variable data right so how to use this value and let's try to understand so we have the text field here right and what we need to do basically if i use value so let's see one more thing let's comment this so what we need to do now is to write the data which we have stored inside this local variable data into the grid right we need to write the values inside this editable grid so how we can achieve that we need to use for each loop and what we can do we can implement for each at this place a bank for each and items is basically the data right local bank data and expression is our a bank row grid row layout right let's cut this part and paste it here so we can see the row is right now there are three rows right but the data is not there because we have not configured this value right so what we can do now we can use fv bank row right and inside this a bank text field could not find variable fv bank row okay no worries okay so we are using the fv bank uh, we need to use fv bank item because we are using the for each loop right so fv bank row we can use inside the grid in read only grid but inside this editable grid right now we can use 
event item because we are using this for each loop so right now if you see inside this first name all the items are coming right but i only want the first name so what i can do i can use index and i want first name right first name and this is the null value and done so right now whatever values are there for this a bank map for the first and second and third it is coming inside this a bank text field right so similarly we need to configure other fields also So you can see how quickly I can do this right now. And phone. So right now, let's see our grid. And we have all the values which we have used inside that local variable, right? So we have configured the rows also, the data is also coming. So let's add a new row link, right? So we can click on that and we can add a new row. As far as the requirement so let's add the perimeter at the end and add row link what we can use here we can use a bank dynamic link right and we can use the label new right so I can write add new row so right now we have created this link right this is a link but when i click this nothing is happening right because we are not having the function where we can add this data right so what we need to do basically we need to put the value or uh, let's see how save into can be useful at this place save into a bank save and the target is basically local variable local variable data and our data is null data right so i can directly use a bank map and let's copy these things and let's control C, control V, and let's make the data null. Right. So what we are doing basically, we have added this as a link, and when we whenever we will click on this link, it will save the null data inside this local bank data and that null data will come as a row inside this row read only editable grid right so let's use this feature whatever we have implemented and if i click on this one add new row then a new row is coming right but previous row is getting removed like the previous data is getting removed because we have not used the append function right so what we need to do we need to use append append and array is basically local bank data comma and whatever save function we are doing here now let's add the bracket now the append is fine so let's test this whole page again and this is the data we have and if i click on this a bank new row then new data will come right and if i click on this one let's click it again and test let's see the local variable is value is getting there or not so if i click on this one then nothing is happening right maybe there is some issue let's debug the issue so append is happening at this place what we need to do we need to append the local variable right so there is one more thing we can do to achieve this 
let's see let's try to remove this a bank save right and let's see if it will work or not let's remove this a bank save and let's remove one bracket and let's see if it is working or not so i'm clicking this add new ring so it is creating an issue right why it is creating an issue because it is an error record while executing a save okay because inside this save into right we have not used any kind of a bank save save is not happening basically only append is happening so right now whatever save we have removed from inside this append we will add that outside the append now because without save function nothing will happen right inside this save into so we will use a bank save and now use local variable and data and now it will work we have done the configuration as far as the requirement now let's try this again and let's click on this right so now add new ring is working fine right we can add n number of rows right so this is how we can achieve this functionality and in our next video we can see how we can remove these rows right because right now we are just adding these rows right we can use this last column and we can add that functionality of removing the rows so see you in the next video guys thank you so much like save and hit the bell icon